Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Mary Singhal, medical oncologist at Apollo Hospitals, Noida and Delhi. Se. Today, we are going to discuss a very important subject, which is eating red meat and cancer. And not only this, how does red meat increases the risk of cancer? So there are many aspects into it, and there are a lot of chemicals which are present in, in the red meat, which can not only increase the risk of cancer, but also heart attacks. And uh, one of the chemicals which is found in high quantity is uh, trimethylamine and oxide which is called a stemo and this can increase the risk of heart attacks it's not only this uh, we all understand that red meat is slightly more harder than white meat and it's difficult to cook it so red meat is invariably exposed to a lot of high temperature when it is exposed to a lot of high temperature there's a lot of generation of complex hydrocarbons which are called as polycyclic aromatic amines and heterocyclic amines these are almost similar looking chemicals as is available in the petroleum industry. These chemicals when consumed over a long period of time can cause DNA damage which can in, in, in addition to result into uh, cancer over a period of time. Of course, this is not going to happen in one day. This is over continued exposure over many years that it can result into cancer. Not only this, red meat is also high on saturated fats. And it is likely to make you obese. If you consume red meat on a regular basis, you are likely to gain weight and become obese, which in turn will increase the risk of multiple type of cancers, including breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, uterine cancer, and stomach cancer, and so on and so forth. How to make eating red meat safer? If you do enjoy red meat, you can definitely have red meat in a quantity which is okay. Generally, three servings per week is said to be okay. Your cooking habits of red meat should be good enough. It is advisable that you can heat the red meat in microwave for some time so that you don't have to expose the red meat to high temperatures for a long time in either a pressure cooker or anything so that overall heating time can be reduced by microwaving it. You should flip over the red meat more often if you're, if you're heating it in a frying pan, not exposing it to very high temperature. Avoid using hot flame or direct flames on the red meat because this will definitely convert the in inner uh, protein into aromatic amines and heterocyclic amines which can result into DNA damage. Open flame treatment is not a good idea. Charring the red meat if you burn it too much is also not a good idea because this can definitely result into increased amount of these complex amines which can damage the DNA. Include a lot of vegetables either in the form of salads or cooked vegetables along with red meat so you have a good amount of roughage which can absorb most of these heterocyclic amines and aromatic uh, amines uh, which can uh, absorb these so that your your dna is not damaged and doing regular exercises and maintaining a healthy body mass index so that you don't become obese so yes red meat is dangerous if consumed in large quantities over a long period of time but if you mix and mass things and you maintain a good body mass index i think and you you take red meat in a in, in a proper uh, reasonable quantity but not overeat it and you have good cooking habits or inculcate a good cooking habits for preparing your red meat dish then it may not be as unsafe i hope this this information is useful uh, and uh, you'll be able to have a good lifestyle thank you